Hey there crazy kids, I am the good old gamer and uh, this is another response video for <laughs> Mind Fiend. Um, he was wondering what he should do with his new staircase and so this is just a mock-up I made. It is by no means the right dimensions. It's just a quick little uh, demonstration here to show. Now this is how you have it in video 35 or 36 whenever it was that you finally finished your stairway the way you wanted it. You put in smooth stone inside of the cobblestone outline which looks fine. It looks alright. I don't have a problem with it at all. Um, and it looks something like this. Well, again the dimensions aren't exactly right. I didn't copy the staircase at all. I just went by memory and just made this little mock design here. But uh, I was thinking if you instead put smooth stone in one block layer instead of having it right out front like this and then uh, you are able to look at it back here it would look more like this now the reason that it looks kinda light coming in is because of the stairs um, and if you don't like that particular look of it, you could always put cobble down here like that. But uh, from back here, you get kind of a dimension. See if you make it one layer back with the smooth stone. And I think that looks a little better personally, but I mean, it's up to you. It's just, again, you don't have to actually use this design or anything. I just thought I would show you without, you know, making you go through the effort of trying it yourself and wasting a bunch of materials and stuff. Figured I'd just go ahead and show you what it looks like. Now I am using uh, your pack, your texture pack, Mind Fiend, so um, this is pretty much how it's going to look for you inside your game <laughs> if you would do it this way. Um, but this would leave this area open for designs. Um, for example, let's see here. Since part of the stairway leads into the basement of your house, you could... Now, I think your stairway is actually bigger, so this would be more appropriate, but... You could have a window in here, leading into your basement, like this. something along that line. Now again, like I said, this is not the proper dimension for your stairway, so you would have to adjust that, but uh, you could have something like that. You could um, what else? If you change this down here, to dirt. Do I have dirt on me? Yes, I do. Sorry, I, again, for these demonstrations, I don't need the nighttime. If you had dirt here in... I'm just going to save us all a bunch of time. If you had dirt here and you put put a glass or grass, I, I don't know why I can't talk. Then you could have, um, oh good, I do have flowers. You could have little flower beds by your stairs. It's all sorts of things you can do, and it just starts with the uh, one block layer in of smooth stone. You don't have to have a window or grass or whatever, but it leaves it open for some other designs that you could fit in. But, um...
essentially you want it like this to begin with with the uh, cobble around the outside and one layer in could do other things as well I could provide for lighting if you left the uh, stairs open like that you also get that lighting effect coming in which looks kind of cool actually I think during the day So there's, it leaves it open for a lot of other designs, I think. Of course, you said, <laughs> this is in response to like video 34 or, or no, 35, 36, somewhere in there. But you said you've already recorded the video 44 now or something. So this is probably all outdated and you probably come up with the stair design that you like already. But I just figured you uh, might have wanted some responses as to what you could do with your new stairway design. So I figured... I would just show you uh, just one block indent for the uh, stone, wherever your smooth stone layer is, put it in one and then you have, if nothing else, you have definition to your stairway that uh, you didn't have before. Because if you're out here by your engrave for one bone or whatever, you still get that you get some dimension that's what I mean by putting it in one layer I really do like that lighting effect by the way but anyways um I just thought I'd show that to you give you something to think about you don't have to use it of course I, you never have to use any of these designs but um, I think it looks neat and it leaves like I said it leaves it open to other things inside of here as well windows or uh, like the the uh, plants or you could probably have a hedge in here somewhere or who knows what who knows what your uh, designs could come up with but I think that looks pretty cool anyways I'm gonna call it good for now thanks for watching boys and girls and uh, you probably don't have this little bit of clay right here in your world because you started it in 1.6 but there's some clay right there <laughs> house would have been down over here somewhere and it would have been right down there but I don't think you probably have that anyways I just noticed that um, yeah that's it hopefully you uh, get some sort of inspiration out of this even if you don't use a design mind fiend and uh, those of you who are playing along with the mind fiend in his videos and maybe making some of the same designs there's something for you to think about as well Thanks for watching, boys and girls. I'm the good old gamer. This has been a video response for the Mind Fiend. Bye for now.